Hello again guys, I'm Kevin, and we're back in the shop again for day two of our axe build. Today, sharpening. Let's do it. Alright, here's my setup. There's more than one way to do this, but I prefer to have the axe hung, that way the clamp's out of the way. Get yourself some wedges, we got two in the back there, and one under the front to keep everything stable. In order to do most of the work, you're going to be removing metal here, and for that I prefer a 12 inch double cut file. After that you can step up or step down if you want to a 6 inch single cut file. You're going to want a file card to keep everything clean, and don't forget the leather gloves here because it is easy to slip and cut yourself on the edge. Ask me how I know. Okay, let's get filing. Let's talk about the number one misconception when it comes to filing. You guys know I'm sure that the file only cuts on the push, not on the pull. That doesn't mean, however, that you can't lightly drag the file backwards on the backstroke. In fact, I'm going to argue that you should do just that in order to maintain a consistent angle. And all I'm looking for here is the lightly Scratch the center of the axe or lift the file just above that. That's my angle. Does that damage the file on the return stroke? That's what you guys have likely heard. And let's be honest, it probably doesn't do it any favors, but guys, these are disposable items. Not like sandpaper, but nonetheless, when these are not cutting like they used to, you should recycle them and get new ones. All right, let me get off my soapbox and get back to filing. Once you've removed most of the material with the 12 inch file, I prefer to switch to a smaller file for draw filing. Draw filing is a type of filing in which you draw the file towards you and away from you rather than towards the bit. And because of that, it's a little bit safer. It also helps flatten this surface out tremendously. You really get to see how well you were holding consistent angle there. Oh, and I'm using the single cut file this time around. After draw filing, if you want to clean this up further, you're going to want to switch the whetstones of which there are two basic kinds. You have your axe pucks, which I prefer more for field work. In the shop, I like these rectangular stones. It allows you to keep your hands away from the edge a little more and basically try to maintain the same angle that you filed on and just continue draw filing with the stone. Just like with the file, you want to move the stone back and forth this way as well. That way you're not wearing out the same place on the bottom of the stone. After you're done stoning the cheeks, it's time to put on the secondary bevel. That's the uh, bevel that you see on most axes, but I want to repeat that this filing is what actually does the cutting. For the secondary bevel, I prefer a really fine chainsaw file. And you can choose any angle you like for this. It more depends on the quality of the steel and how you're going to be using the axe. I'm going to be shooting for about a sixteenth to an eighth. That's 17.5. That's 15. I would say somewhere in between 17.5 and 15. Call it 17. In order to refine the secondary bevel even further, I like a fine diamond file. Don't care for diamond stones uh, for much else, but 
I do find that with a soft Japanese water stone, it's very easy to round this edge over and effectively create a convex edge, which I'm trying to avoid as much as possible. You can create a convex edge here if you want to just roll this secondary bevel in to the main cutting edge, but I'm going to try to avoid that. Same motion as draw filing. And like a water stone, this cuts in both directions, so you can use it kind of like sandpaper. Just try to maintain that angle. And remove those scratches. If you want to get this razor sharp, you're going to have to strop it. And I prefer to take the strop to the axe rather than the axe to the strop. Start with the compound side. Try to maintain the same angle as the secondary bevel. Uh, in fact, you're almost creating a micro bevel, uh, imperceptible to the eye really, polishing up the very, very edge of the axe, removing any wire edge that might still be there. Pull away from the cutting edge, otherwise you'll uh, damage the strop. Finish it off with the smooth side of the strop. Light pressure. She is wicked sharp. I know you guys want to see me shave hairs off my arm, so here it goes. Let's see if you guys can see this. See that? Uh, it's gross. A little bit more. See the bald patch now? Whoops. See all the hairs? That's disgusting. I don't know why you guys like that. These are made for chopping wood, not for shaving. But they will shave. All right, that's all we got time for today. We got a little more work to do on the handle. Oil it up, clean it up, and get the chopping. See you guys on the next one.